Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here uh, this evening in my office um, finishing up the day and I wanted to video record now how I would uh, assemble the screw retained implant case. As you recall earlier we uh, took an impression with an open tray uh, design so that uh, it would pick up a total of um, seven implants and these are all Nobel BioCare implants. What we've done is we've transferred the soft tissue emergence profile we call the EP uh, to the impression coping and made sure that we had enough room in approximately uh, to allow for enough of a sluice way and embrasure space to, for the patient to keep clean. So the most difficult one was uh, tooth number uh, six. Uh, I want to say implant number six because as you recall it was a kind of a deep countersunk uh, implant. This is the x-ray of the implant itself and uh, of course it has a five millimeter collar that comes all the way up from the healing abutment. It's a straight healing abutment versus that of a flared. What's next door is also a straight one millimeter uh, healing abutment. So you got kind of a a large change between one and the other. Now in the impression um, is a dramatic difference. You have the color code green and then yellow over here. Now I wanted to make a few points um, on this case. We had to definitely extend the collar of the impression coping greater than it's only given us about uh, three to four millimeters in height so we had to go all the way up to at least five and we did that and uh, successfully and took our impression so we had, had to even modify one of Nobel's uh, implants they don't make them that long so you have to if you don't modify it you're gonna get tissue collapse and a nightmare for your lab to figure out what's what the uh, let's a little closer look at what what's going on. What I mean say is that I've ex manually extended with composite, adding composite to the impression coping, which is a 6.0 in the cuspid region. Careful to allow enough room to uh, to stay in between it and the implant next door. Um, I may have to modify some of the lab analogs in order to make these two not touch each other. Now, uh, interesting uh, right side here. The other two, um, uh, this would be the um, second bicuspid region and uh, the number uh, four position and then of course the number three position. So I tailored the design as such that to mimic that of a, um, a molar. I probably could have brought this out just a little bit more down here to mimic the side, but this is a 5.0, and this is a 4. Point, I think 4.3 uh, implant. So uh, we're all set. So now we're ready to um, to design the bar on this side, which have the analogs in place. But just think about in the mouth and my other video uh, that this braided twist wire is very strong it's it's you know it's it's precast wire it's braided and then it's meshed together and then somebody has to pound it somehow to keep it rigid so in my mind it's extremely rigid you bend it it's not going to have memory um, now you want to bend it so that it makes contact just like bending a holly retainer you want to make sure it has contact with all the analogs similar to a holly retainer that makes contact with all the anterior teeth all right, so once you do that, you've got it cut properly. I like to cut it so it's just a little bit further extended past the end implant. Then I'm going to add the composite resin, and this is a, a real nice uh, material to use. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Here's our resin, and I'll go ahead and add it. I just use a syringe tip. Uh, I probably have to change tips so give me one second to change the tip on that. I just used uh, the uh, tips that I get with the acid etch gels and that seems to work pretty well. This is uh, materials called Ultradent 
uh, light cure block out resin and so I'm going to go ahead and add that. I did have to lower the light for this so we'll add it to the buckle make life easy and it really sticks well to anything so and we'll make sure we wrap it all the way around to the other side just so it doesn't slip off while the model's being vibrated and we'll do that here and we'll do it to here very versatile easy to use and I'd like to teach surgeons how to use this m technique in the mouth it's real simple it's a little hard to video record as I'm doing it in the mouth but it's very fast and not even 10 minutes you can have it in there and cured so now um, I'm just going to place my bar and that'll stick right in with that. I might just put a little bit more material right here. There we go. And go grab my bar again. I've already pre-measured this bar. And whoops, let's get this in place and then we'll like here. And then we'll wrap this a little bit more with composite. So here we go. We just set it like that. Let me zoom in. So now it's, it's kind of resting in a, a nice position. I like to keep it more upright. Now you might want to just shut your eyes real quick because I'm going to like your with the filter of course but I just don't want your eyes to, uh, to uh, we'll just literally spot cure this in and then I, I don't need to go through any of the the techniques as far as bonding is concerned you just put it in place go ahead and light cure it and you're good to go now you just don't want to leave it like that you you do want to like I said wrap the f submerge it in this blue composite so we'll just run another bead just for securing it in place and in the mouth I do the same thing doesn't take but a s couple minutes to do this really it's not that difficult and you know you have good retraction if your patient's sedated it's even easier and uh, an open tray impression folks is really the best way to do dentistry especially implant dentistry um, implant dentistry and, and is so demanding that we have absolutely just zero problems with fitting cases not only to the model but to the mouth and when you can cut your time all the way down to just five ten minutes of seating a case you know if I have two or three screw retained teeth in a row I know they're all going in passively without any pressure on the screws I know I'm, I'm playing this this implant came the right way and I'm very happy to say that um, this rigidity coincides with the same rigidity that's apparent in the impression itself. It's embedded, you can't see it, but it's in there and it looks just like this, only it's holding the copings together. Um, I really feel that this is a repeatable procedure and um, welcome to comments out there in the implant world. Um, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I just thought I would give you a little prelude as to how we make our models. I know I've done this with Ken's case on YouTube and now uh, we're going to secure the rest of these. I'll do these tonight and have them ready for my lab to go ahead and inject the soft tissue component next and then to do a pour up. Um, and one more thing I'll mention is there's a significant difference between an open tray impression coping that goes in the implant versus the uh, the other type which have a long extension and a much longer insert into the implant uh, and that would be the closed tray. Closed tray uh, you're, you're more worried about the rebounding effect of the impression material the uh, coefficient of a setting expansion and, and hardness changes that occur uh, within the the stone itself 
uh, so many variables that come into play and you're dealing with threads that don't have much give you're dealing with seeding intimately with intimate fit there's really no other better method than this fixating not only in the mouth reversing it now to show you the open tray method now I've reinforced the tray significantly with extra material well after I took my impressions just so I have something that that's not going to um, to be a problem when we do the pour up here are the four impression screws these are the other ones that are tightened down um, just hand tighten them gently hand tighten them down no problem you don't have to over tighten and uh, and then loot the other side we'll continue to give you video footage of this case it, I want you to to really follow along and and to see how simple it really is to take the guesswork out of dental implants all the very best this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo wishing you a good evening take care